What's up you guys, Creations here. I hope you're having a lovely day. Hope you're feeling good. Hope you're looking good. Hope everything is great. Today, I'm gonna be doing another Am I the Asshole? Because uh, we just love them. We love them around here right now, okay? It, it's starting to take up this channel a little bit. We're still doing trailers, okay? If you don't know my name, my name is Creations. Usually do movie and TV show trailers. And then sometimes I'll like just wreck something random on YouTube, if not show some art. Um, I'm still gonna be doing Ginger as a human. Yes, that's just, I might not stream it. I will just do it some random time, but it will be before the end of this uh, New Year's. It is the 29th. I think I got two days left, so. That's, uh, it's gonna happen at some point. I promise, I promise. Um, but I will be doing an Am I the Asshole? And then one of my friends informed me of a top 10, which I'm probably gonna possibly do as well. Like top 10 movies of 2023 type of thing, even though, um, the movies as of recent <laughs> have been mm, a little iffy mm -hmm, here and there, you know, a little, a little iffy. 2023 has been very iffy with stuff. So yeah, I'm rambling. We're gonna go ahead and get into this Am I the Asshole because you just might be. Apologies if you hear the vent. I, again, y'all, I have a vent. It's on, it's a little warm up in here. Um, I'm about to be leaving out to go to work. So we're gonna have to just deal. Hopefully y'all don't hear it. I don't think y'all hear it that well, but um, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and get into it. There's several of these and I was just interested in reading these um, because the titles interest me. Again, uh, do you, if y'all have any um, Am I the Assholes that y'all would like me to read, please most definitely link them down below in the comments. Let's go ahead and start this off. Am I the asshole for making a woman leave my house? I don't think so, but we're gonna, we're gonna check. I, 30 male, was talking with my wife's friend who was there for dinner. She tried to hug my son, seven, but he had a bad day and said no thanks. Very respectful. She kept pressuring him when, she kept pressuring him when, and he didn't budge. So she looked at me. I said a kid at school started a fight with him and he was grumpy. So maybe later. Why are you pressuring for a hug? Um, I think this is what the wife's friend, girl, why are you pressuring for a hug? Calm down. She said, come on, you're just gonna let him disobey you. Like, I assume I assume disobey you like that. Um, If you don't wanna give a hug, you don't wanna give a hug. I don't think that's a bad thing. I said, I raised him to build his own boundaries and say no when something violates them. And I would never make him break them for someone else. Right, because uh, you set boundaries, you won't want them broke. She laughed and said, she's lucky he's not her kid and that behavior would be fixed fast. What behavior? What, what? Because of a hug? Like I know for some people back in the day, it's like, you know, if, if a, per, a, a grown up says do this or whatever, they wanna whatever, whatever, yada, yada, a hug or some shit. It's like, you know, I guess you most people will probably possibly do it, but some just, wouldn't but then it's like sometimes the parent will be like you know just just go ahead and give a hug nowadays it's like bro if i don't want to give you a hug i don't want to give you a hug i should not be forced to give you a hug why are you pressuring me to give you a hug calm the fuck down um i had my son go to his room then i told her to get out i said the reason i got out of bed in the morning was to see my son grow another day older and I would not stand for him being treated like a pet rather than a person, which I mean, how she kind of worded some stuff, or at least how he worded what she said, disobey you like that. I mean, yeah, that's a, that's a child, but it's like, bro, he didn't want to give you a hug, calm, calm down. She called me an asshole and left. My wife is disappointed because she went to yoga with her, but says she can't scold me because she'd probably do the same. Am I the asshole? No. It's very simple, straightforward. I mean, they say not the asshole, but let, let's be honest. He ain't the asshole. Like, bro, it's that seemed like a very simple, this is a very simple one right here. I think we can all agree, not the asshole, right? If you disagree, put it in the comments. I would like to see here, I would like to hear your part because I don't, I don't see this any other way. I don't see this like, is he the asshole for not having his child hug this woman? I don't think so. In my opinion, this is a very simple one, no. Which, I'm curious what, what, what the comment's saying. Not the asshole. Usually the people who say things like that are suck-ass parents who barely even know their own kid. 
or not parents at all and just making judgments about situations and relationships they cannot possibly understand. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she over a simple hug. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I have a couple more pulled up. Let's see what we got here. Let's go on to the next one. This is also a small one, but apparently it says asshole. So I'm very curious to see where this goes. Am I the asshole for refusing to help my daughter with her car payment because she's a stripper? Possibly. What kind of relationship y'all got? I'm very curious. I, 47, 47 male, have a 22-year-old daughter. She's in college and lives on campus. I agreed to help her make car payments since she was in school. I was recently informed by a young man I work with that my daughter strips at a club about 40 minutes away. I confronted her on this and she said she didn't plan to do it after she graduated and she needed some money. I told her then, work at McDonald's, not use her body. Okay, calm down. We got into an argument and I asked her to quit stripping and get a decent job. Then she refused and said stripping was easy money. So basically I said there was no need for me to pay her car payment anymore since she is making money so easily. She got upset and said that wasn't fair and that she doesn't make enough for that. I told her to figure it out. I mean, I'm not going to lie so far. I'm not going to lie. If you, if you are, obviously the stripping does not line up with a lot of people. It doesn't line up with your parents, it seems like. If you're not making that much money, I guess might as well at that point get a regular job. Like, how much money are you making when you're stripping? Because I, I don't know. Like, and this could be just me. I feel like if you're stripping, you need to be making at least a couple bands, right? At least a couple? You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. I feel like if you're a decent stripper, you should be making a couple bands. A couple. It ain't going to be like thousands upon thousands upon thousands. But I don't know. At least enough to pay all your bills. Depending on how much bills you have. I mean, it seems like he's just helping her out with car payments specifically. I guess she has everything else under control. But I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Like, do I think she should, he should help? And he's been helping so far. And she's still going to school and stuff. I don't know. I, I thought... I feel like he should prop, my opinion, my opinion. I feel like he should help a little. You know what? I'm giving my opinion. I, I'm not even done yet. Let's finish. She told my wife about what happened. And my wife is upset by her job of choice, but says it's unfair for me to stop supporting her so suddenly over an argument. I think it's perfectly fair. It's my money and my decision when to cut it off. Oh, I got to start. I got to really finish these, like, Please, let me finish them. Because, I mean, technically, yeah. Technically, yes, it is your money. You can cut it off whenever. Though that is your child, at the end of the day, they are going to adult and they, need to, they do need to be paying their own bills. However, if they need help, I feel like it shouldn't be too hard to help. And then also, you've already been helping thus far until you figured out what she did to get a little extra money. So yeah, in this, in, in my opinion, in this situation specifically, yeah, I think you're the asshole. I don't think you should have like stopped immediately. Like now, if she was making bands on bands on bands and she was still getting help, yeah, cut her off. Because at this point, you're supporting yourself. And I'm not going to lie, and this is just my own opinion. I feel like if you're doing stripping, I feel like, you know, do what you want to do. But I don't know, maybe because I be hearing a lot of things that, you know, people be making bands and stuff. If you're not making bands and being able to pay your own stuff, maybe you should just get a regular job at that point, in my opinion. Because, again, like, I don't know. I feel like if you are going to be doing stripping, it got to be making you a good bit of money to do so. If you can't somewhat live off that money or at least pay a, at least a car payment now at this point, maybe just get a regular job. Maybe just get a regular part-time job. I know everybody don't like it. We don't like to do fast food. I don't like to do fast food. I have not been back to my fast food job in a minute. But look at me now. I'm doing DoorDash. Okay. So, but you know, at least at that point, I'm not really talking with a lot of people. I'm just, I'm just kind of listening to podcasts. So uh, I'm vibing. But again, this is just me. I feel like if you're stripping and you're not making the amount of money to really support yourself, maybe just get a regular job at that point. And it's not about the whole body thing. It's just like for me, if, you, if you're if you doing it, I don't know. I feel like you should be making enough to support yourself. So that, that's just my own two cents. Um, but yeah, I do think he's an asshole because, I mean, you kind of did it suddenly. 
because of what she's doing for work to get a little extra money. So I do think you're the asshole in this situation because it's like, yeah, I don't, I don't think you should have just immediately stopped. Maybe have more of a conversation. You had an argument. Okay. It is your money. Yeah, yeah, fine. It's just how sudden you did it. That's where I'm kind of a little iffy and having a problem with it. You just did it very suddenly. So that's just my opinion. Uh, comments. What are these comments looking like? Uh, what kind of asshole tells a woman parent, a woman's parents that they saw their daughter strip? Yeah, I'm not going to lie. That did kind of pass my mind. Who said it? <laughs> who, who snitched? I am very curious. Who, who said what to who, to his, to her parents? I don't know why I never thought about that. I completely kind of skipped over his, that person's part. Who snitched? You know? Who snitched? As if that's any of his business to get into. Your gross coworker. Oh, that was the coworker who goes to strip clubs to ogle woman, but then tattles. Yeah. On them is the biggest asshole in this MO. I'm not going to lie. That I don't know if they're wrong about that. You did tattle my guy. For what? For what? Maybe it doesn't align with his values as well. I don't know. But it's like, you need to snitch. You need to snitch. Because I kind of, I honestly, I don't know if y'all did too. Kind of forgot about the person who tattled. I kind of forgot about them. So that brought me back. Wow. Yeah, who, who's going to do that? Who, why, why would you do that? Probably tried to hit her on, probably tried to hit on her and was told to fuck up. Maybe. <sighs> I'll work with the, the, I'm not going to read all the other stuff. Uh, next one, am I the asshole for saying again after my sister announced that she's pregnant with twins? Oh my gosh, that sounds like maybe yes, and it's a long one, but, um, I'm curious. I want to know. I'm nosy. Y'all, imagine if we had names with these. Imagine if we had names. Juicy, juicy. Uh, my 21 female sister, uh, 30, well, hold on. Okay. Okay. So I guess this is her, this is, uh, a girl talking about her sister. I assume I'm making the assumption. Um, my 21 female sister, 32 female has been married to her husband, 33 male for eight years. They already have six kids total. The last one born five months ago. Yesterday, my sister had an announcement that she's three months pregnant with twins and while everyone was congratulating her congr mm, I can't talk Congrat congratulating ugh, congratulating her I said out loud oh my god again oh my god I'm just trying to think in my mind <laughs> trying to like get a picture of the setting like if they're in the kitchen or something oh my god again like, it's just like, how do you say that nicely? You don't. You're more so like, again? So, oh, can't your stupid husband leave you alone? I didn't mean to say it out loud, but it slipped out and my sister looked at me angrily and literally dragged me into another room and asked, why the fuck did you say that? It ain't that funny. It's just, yeah, damn. You had to say all that out loud. I know some people like might not like think about it too much and they'll like say what they say. I do that sometimes. And I'll just let, but to be fair, I'll just let a person know how I feel. I Not all the time. Mainly because I just don't really care that deeply. But I, you know, if you ask, mm. but dang. At least she was grown enough to pull her to the room. I told her that she and her husband have been pregnant every year for the last eight years and that she needs to take a break. I mean, let me continue. I was worried about her having so many babies in such a short time and I didn't want anything bad happening to her. She then said, how about you leave us alone and worry about your own shit? This is my life. So fuck off. Damn. 
My mother told me that I should apologize for being rude, but I told her that I won't apologize for showing concern. I think it's just more so the statement. Oh my gosh. I think it's just more so the statement and how you said it. No. Yeah, it's just how you said it. It's how you said it. Because you said, can't your stupid husband leave you alone? Goddamn. What is your relationship like? I am nosy. I want to know now. Jeez. But now I just can't. (laughs) I'm sorry. But now I just can't help thinking that maybe I was being an asshole and sticking my nose into other people's business. I was just worried, but maybe I was being a jerk. Well, I mean, she did announce it and you know all this information. So, I mean, I don't know. I feel like you have some change you could give. I know people don't like to give. I know people don't like to receive two cents. But it's like, she's a sister. She, at least I assume she has some information in regards to everything or whatever, yada, yada. So, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I feel like you can, at that point, give some, 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 some change, okay? Pretty sure you can give, like, about maybe three cents, four cents, some change if they're going to announce it, especially if they're going to announce it. So, mmm. Um... But is she the asshole? Uh, before we get into the edits. No, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go ahead and get into the edits. Edit. Yes, I do babysit my sister's kids sometimes. And all six of them at the same time whenever they need me to and if I'm available. They pay me 30 to $50 an hour. God damn. That's good. But their kids are pretty destructive. And they don't respect other adults like they're supposed to. So it's a full core full chore watching after them. I mean, it's six kids. They're pretty chaotic. I I would imagine that a little bit. Yes. I'm aware that a stupid husband, goddamn, comment was inappropriate. It was, but I have almost no filter and my stupid mouth says shit before my brain can stop it. At least you're real with them. I respect that at least. At least you're real with them. And, um, I've seen some comments talk about the ages and assuming my sister is 21. I'm 20. Okay, so she's 21. <laughs> I'm 21. My sister is 32. She grown. And her husband is 33. Update. I apologize to my sister for insulting her husband and making that rude comment, but I told her that I'm still worried about her having so many kids back to back and that just concerned in general about her health and well-being. She actually forgave me and she said it's because one, I'm her youngest sister. Two, She knows about my problem with keeping my thoughts to myself and that I'm working on myself. And three, she knows that I'm concerned for her and she's appreciative of it. But she has assured me that she's fine and she said that this pregnancy wasn't planned and her husband plans on getting a vaccination because they both want this pregnancy to be the last. Okay. All right. For those asking in the comments, she and her husband can afford to have kids. Okay, that's good. That's 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 one big thing I was looking at. He runs a very successful business. What is it? What was the business? I want to know. And she is still co-partner with her best friend in a company that they both started before she got married. How she manages to struggle being a full-time mom and work here and there is beyond me, but she does. That's why I babysit, sometimes when the nanny isn't available 24 seven. Her husband was the one who initially wanted a big family in her, and my sister just went along with the idea, but that's their business. All right, any more edits? Nope. Okay. Okay, Um. let's read the comments. I feel the YTA could come with a ca- with a caveat. Sherry was rude, but would be interested to hear more about her sister's financial situation and whatnot. Eight kids is a lot, and as crazy it sounds, there's a lot. There's all near mm, that. As it sounds, they're all near each other in age. I feel bad for the kids. <laughs> they're gonna have to be sharing rooms, hands me downs. Etc. Kids are expensive, let alone eight. I forgot she said she had eight. Eight. But I will say one thing that I did think about during this entire read was like their financial situation. Because, yeah, you're having like that many kids. I'm going to 
quite at least financially i'm looking at financially like what are y'all doing to have this but apparently sister is a co-partner of some type of company and the husband has a successful business so at least financially they're good and they have a nanny um just god dang but is she the asshole yes technically looking at it objectively yes she is an asshole for saying all that out loud it was very rude it was very very mean um so yeah we're, she's an asshole for that at least she apologized if sister understands where she's coming from and all that and it worked itself out but i feel like we're not too surprised yeah it's, it's a bit of an asshole right there um because i'm sorry you said all this out loud oh my god again can't your stupid husband leave you alone like you can even work like putting it into words it's like yeah eh, sounds very rude sounds very rude at least she's real about how she feels in the time i'll give it that at least she's honest in regards to how she feels but uh yeah asshole those are my thoughts okay we're gonna do one more am i the asshole for not allowing my stepson 12 male to live with us possibly we'll see I have two boys, 10 male and five male, and I'm getting married in the next few weeks to my boyfriend who has a 12 son, 12 year old son from a previous relationship. My future husband's son asked his dad if he could come live with us after we get married because he wants to experience a genuine family dynamic with parents and siblings, given that his biological parents never married anyone else. My husband is on board with that with this idea, believing it would contribute positively to the boy's personal growth. I expressed to my husband that I have reservations about having him live with us based on observations during the weekends he spends at our place. Oh, what happens? I'm nosy, I would like to know. First, he appears to have a strained relationship with my younger son. He rarely includes him in activities unless I specifically prompt him to do so. When I ask him to assist with the younger boy, such accompanying him to the bathroom, he does so with obvious reluctance. I mean, that sounds about right. Secondly, he displays an excessive comp competitive streak towards my older son. He consistently aims to outperform him and even taunts him when he succeeds. I found this overly competitive atmosphere uncomfortable. I desire my children to grow up in a nurturing and supportive environment. I have thoughts in regards to that, but I'm going to continue. The third and most significant concern is his ac academic and behavioral performance. My boyfriend has informed me that his son has been struggling academically and has faced minor behavioral challenges. I'm concerned about his potential negative influence on my children, particularly my older son. My husband dismisses these concerns as typical for his age, believing that with our guidance, he could improve. I sought advice from my mother and she disagrees with me, asserting that providing a unit, 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 united family environment could greatly benefit my stepson. Both of them label my reason as unreasonable. Okay, got through that. We're going to do edits real quick. Edit. Many people didn't quite catch the bathroom example I provided, let's say, where at a park. I can't let my five-year-old go to the bathroom alone, so I might have my stepson accompany him for safety reasons. It's the kind of, you know, thing an older child should do for a younger one. Update. I know that I am not the best person, but I never mistreat or ignore my future stepson. I care for him and I would never think of hurting him. I realize now that I was being overly protective of my own children and not considering things from my future stepson perspective. I was afraid that my future stepson might bully my kids, for example, excluding the younger one from activities he enjoys, like building with Legos or teasing the older one when he wins. But now I can see that if he wants to live with us, it's because he cares about his future siblings. Moreover, as a responsible adult, I understand that I have an obligation to help him with behavior and school grades. I talk to my boyfriend and I accept that he can come with, live with us. Now we'll need to move to a new house so that each child can have their own room. Amazing. And we'll have to work on getting custody. I'm sorry, I had a whole pause for a second. That, that, 
Okay, it does say she <laughs> it does say she's an asshole in this, which at first, yes. You know, for not letting the stepchild come live with you. Yeah. And then honestly, when it came to her listing out things, I'm like, I mean, these sounds like things that even I went through. Like uh, these these sound like very simple things that you would that regardless if they're biological or not, that kids go through. Like it it's not too shoot, I'm competitive sometimes. I like to win a lot. Okay, so it's like a lot of these were very much, I'm sorry, I have a big forehead on camera. It's very small in real life. Um, a lot of these issues, <laughs> yes, understandable, but like just sounds like a child, if that makes sense. It just sounds like a regular child with their siblings. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't see this as an issue. It's just, you know, you might not want certain issues to go on yada yada but it's just like these seem like very simple issues that yeah a child would have these are basic issues that child children have some of them are going to be competitive some of them are not going to want to do things with their other siblings because it's like Ugh, i'm not raising them you're raising them jeez you know stuff, like it's especially they're young too so it's like yeah this makes sense <laughs> excuse me so, I mean, at the time, at the beginning of this, yes, before the edits, yes, I would say she was an asshole. However, after the edits, it seemed like she kind of came to a conclusion, came to herself and, you know, made a good conclusion and everything kind of worked itself out. So I'm glad, I'm glad that everything worked itself out in this. Like, are you the asshole at the beginning? Yes. After the edits and the updates? No, all fine. And it seemed like they're trying to get custody. So it's like, they're all going to be living together. So... I like that. I, I liked this ending. Um, I want to see comments. You're marrying his father, so you should start considering him as your son as well. If your oldest son, 10, started displaying all these behaviors, then surely you wouldn't just kick him out and give up, give up on him. I would get your BF on board with ways to deal with the behaviors that you're not happy with. Right. Exactly. Behavioral challenges can easily stem from the fact that he is experiencing this split family situation they should definitely do family counseling though if they all move in together okay i know i just seemed so weird when i said that i'm sorry y'all and maybe one more oh nope i'm sorry whenever it comes to like shorthand i'm terrible with shorthand um as the middle one of the male brothers with more or less the same age difference in the post i agree Completely normal behavior to happen with three boys, probably a bit enhanced by him suffering through the split family situation and maybe trying to attract more attention to himself from his non-biological mother, but competition and a bit of hate towards the younger one or the older one from the younger or towards both from the middle one is not unusual. It, it really isn't. It really isn't. It's pretty, pretty normal. So honestly, it's, it's just, that's just... I feel like she figured it out and she's good. Uh, do I think she was, again, if she was an asshole at the beginning, yes, she figured it out. Everything went well. That's good. There. Hold on, hold on. Give me one second. Mm -hmm. So all in all, I feel like, you know, she figured it out, good. That's all good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end it there. <laughs> I've been having some like little, in, in, uh, I don't know what to say, little, little uh, things kind of happen. So I'm kind of cutting this up the best way I can, y'all, I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, uh, final thoughts in regards to that. Yeah, at the beginning, she was an asshole, but she figured it out. She's all good. All right, that was really nice. I actually very much enjoyed that. Um, let me know what your thoughts are. Were they the asshole? Were they not the assholes? I'm being honest with you, I can't really remember exactly, so I'm not gonna say if they were the assholes or not. But the last one, yes, but she figured it out. Previous, previous ones before that, I already kind of forgot. Sorry, so yeah. But um, thank y'all for being here. I freaking love every last one of you guys. Again, follow me on my social medias. Um, and yeah, we're gonna definitely do this again. This was this was very lovely. I like this. Uh, 
deuces pieces Reese's pieces i'm dipping out y'all so bye